So in this video, I'm going to show a workflow for creating, saving, and possibly editing equations in the Chrome Web Browser. So I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for D-A-U-M. Uh, I don't know how that's pronounced, maybe DAUM, that's how I say it at least. So the DAUM Equation Editor. And I already have it installed, so for you it may say install here, I'm going to click Launch App. All right, so now I'm just going to start by putting in a, a simple equation. People have used math type or other equation editors. Uh, it should be a pretty familiar interface. So let's just say I want to put in a basic algebra equation. All right, so now I could take this and I could save the image, I could save it on my computer, and it's just gonna be a PNG file, and I can save it, and I can put it anywhere you could put an image, uh, into, a, into a web page, or a blog, or a Google document, or a Google presentation, or a quizzing software like Socrative, or Infuse Learning, or anywhere you can put an image file. Something else that I can do if I wanna organize a library of these is I can save it to my Google Drive. So uh, you got to make sure you're signed into your Google account and click Save to Google Drive. <clears throat> and the first time you do that, it's going to uh, authenticate and you know make sure you allow access to your Google account. But I've already done that, so that's why you're not seeing it here. All right, something else I'm going to do is I'm going to take this command here. This is a text command, and I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to save that in my Google Drive. I'm going to store it as a comment on the image. Okay, so I've made an equations folder in my Google Drive. Uh, it's just going to go to the root of your Google Drive. And I just want to drag that equation into the folder. So you'll notice here I have it switched to a uh, grid view. And, and obviously the reason I do that for equations is so I can see what the equation is. So up here you can toggle between list view and grid view. All right, so now to save that text command, I'm going to click here and this just shows you the preview. I'm going to click open and I'll just paste in that text command as a comment. So now I have that later if I want to go back and make a small change to this equation. To show you that, let's go back to the equation editor and I'm going to clear it and let's just put in another formula. Let's say we're going to put in the half angle formula for, uh, for sine. So we've got plus and minus to the square root and then a fraction bar in the numerator. And then they do have Greek letters. And I guess I'll close that in parentheses. All right, so there's that formula. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna save it to Google Drive. And then I'm gonna copy the text command. So I go back to my drive, and I'm still in this preview here. I'll close out of that. Go back to the root of my drive and just drag this equation into the folder. All right, so here are the two equations. Now I'm gonna take this uh, half angle formula. Again, I'll open it up. And I'm just going to slide that text command in as a comment. All right, so now if I want to go back and say browse through my equation, let's say I want to go back and make a change to this equation, a small change to it. Just open it up. Look at the comments, and I can copy that text command, come into the equation editor, and if I just I guess I can clear it out, paste it in, that equation is right there. Now I can make changes. Let's say I want to change one of these exponents. It's very easy to do. And then I could save it again as something separate if I wanted to. And say I want to go back and say I want to get the cosine half angle formula. Just open this one up. 
Take a look at the comments. Copy that, go back into the equation editor, clear it out, and paste that code back in. And now if I want to make the cosine half angle formula, uh, I just change this to a plus. And then again, I can save it again. So this gives you a workflow for saving all of your equations. And also uh, with that little commenting feature and using those text commands, you can go back and make changes if you want to, if you want to make small changes. So I think this is a pretty good workflow uh, that compares pretty well to how people use math type in Microsoft Word. And again, I think the big benefit is you can take these equations and you can put them anywhere, and anywhere where you can put an image. And you can also uh, share this. You could have a math department collaborative folder, and you could have organized folders, a folder for trigonometry or algebra or by chapter or however, uh, however it seemed logical to you. So I hope this helps, and please let me know if you have any questions.